what is he feeling namaste real wings my name is joy welcome back to my youtube channel so today let's take a look at the divine masculine so what is he feeling this is from the enchanted map oracle so i'm gonna take <clears throat> three cards right so take whatever resonates okay so let's check we have education somebody's trying to learn somebody's trying to be smarter somebody might be doing some research uh, this could mean that they are studying or learning something new or they could even be looking you up or looking up this connection maybe trying to understand uh, why your connection is special we have solitude somebody is isolating themselves somebody is withdrawn maybe your divine masculine is a teacher maybe they are <clears throat> teaching others and we have ghost lands okay so somebody is stuck in the ghost lands okay so somebody is stuck in the past Somebody hasn't learned from their past, okay? So somebody's stuck in the past, somebody hasn't learned from the past. <clears throat> somebody is trying to understand their story, their past, okay? And they are not so communicative at the moment, they are alone. Um, and they are trying to basically understand themselves, okay? So, and we also have maybe somebody that is a, have a fear of being alone. This is the tower. It's a very symbolic card for the masculine, right? Tower and peers or like a light, lighthouses. Okay, so that is your divine masculine at the moment. Okay, right. So let's take some clarification cards from the tarot deck. So we have the devil, a reverse Capricorn. You could check where you're... The one masculine has Capricorn in their chart. This is also Father and Saturn. So there's something around the patterns that they are trying to understand is connected to Father. Okay, and this is also the card for addictions. Um, could be alcohol addiction, sex addiction, addiction to money, uh, attachment, uh, codependent relationships. Four of Cups. Uh, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody is not being satisfied. Somebody is feeling uh, unable to receive. It could be because they have too they are they have too high um, demands on themselves. It could come from not being validated by their father, a, a father that was distant and cold. Saturn is very stern. A father that was not um, showing them love or giving them appreciation which is making it hard for them to love themselves and they might have have like unrealistic expectations on themselves as a result and maybe they're always trying to achieve something with Cap capricorn which is like ambition they might be like very career driven driven to achieve something but it's in order to fill a void within themselves that they can't fill by themselves <clears throat> this good enough void or it could mean that they don't know how to emotionally support themselves. We have somebody receiving signs from spirit but refusing to see them. Eight of Wands. Okay, so the universe is definitely showering this person with synchronicity. Now we have like an airplane. I don't know if you can hear it. It's coming across. Okay, the airplane, that means travel. That also means like a fast travels or speed. So somebody is on a speed fast track to breaking a pattern a fast track to understanding and we have the hermit again a card of isolation it matches this ghost lands very well because of the gray uh, color here so maybe your divine masculine's father is deceased uh, it's possible and this is also the card of virgo we have fire signs here i forgot to say that aries leo sagittarius uh, and we have um a Virgo here, somebody is alone, somebody is looking within, somebody feels very alone, somebody is trying to look for light, okay, um, and this person is in a sense a person that very quickly withdraws, okay, so this is the divine masculine, and it all seems to be related to father, okay, so father, father healing, a uh, cold father, stern father, a father that was not teaching him to <clears throat> appreciate himself, okay? So it could mean that this divine masculine, when he gets emotionally overwhelmed, he isolates himself because he hasn't learned how to show emotions, okay? That is a possibility, right? So that is what's going on with the divine masculine. <clears throat> 
ghost land, being in the ghost land, okay, searching for something in the past. A lot of like thinking about the past is going on right here. Okay, so let's look at his love message for you. What does your divine masculine want you to know? This is from the Cosmic Dancer Oracle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Consult your body's wisdom. Okay, this is very interesting. Hmm. Okay, so it is like a message to take care of your health, which is super funny. Anyways. <laughs> and then we have be fluid and here we have a mermaid. Okay, and this comes up. These are two cards of flow. So the mermaid, she is the master of the emotional realm. Okay, so be fluid. It's suggesting that you need to uh, stay in a flow with your own emotions. Don't let your emotions get stagnant. Um, he basically uh, don't get stuck on something. Okay, try to release resistance. Try to surrender. This is what your divine masculine wants you to know. Um, and uh, maybe he has been ghosting you just with the ghost uh, energy here. It's very interesting, like symbolically. And uh, what else does he want to tell you? Create sacred space. Okay, and here we have like a pyramid, which is a sign of ascension. Okay, so and there's a person meditating here. So it looks like your divine masculine wants you to take better care of your health and that he wants you to remember um, it's reminding you to stay fluid and that you need to create sacred space to go within so meditation might be a good idea at this point okay so that was your twin flame reading for today thank you so much for watching please leave some comments down below and tell me how did this resonate with you have a beautiful day namaste